Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. We're going to start off exactly where we finish off with our emotion and our energy and our passion level through the roof. Create that energy amongst ourselves in here from the bench, bring it out to the ice, and let's play hard tonight. My connection is very real to it, a big part of my journey. It's a special place, and not many people outside the region know it as Hockey Town Canada, but I certainly do. So Sheldon, born and raised in Brampton, Ontario, how the heck did you end up in Pembroke? The Lumber Kings, Hockey Town Canada. You know, I was uh, fortunate to have an opportunity to invest in the Lumber Kings and being associated with a junior hockey team, something I thought of would be cool when I was done playing. And as it turned out, I was done playing a lot sooner than I thought. And uh, fortunately for me, I was, had a chance to stay involved in the game. and. Pembroke Lumber Kings, you know, became my passion very quickly. It gave me exposure to that side of the game, both in being a part of a community, building a team, coaching a team, and being around the players at different times. And, and I was really drawn to that aspect of it. So ultimately became where I got my coaching start. You were wearing a lot of hats though, not only as an owner of the team, you were also GM of the team in addition to head coach. Anyone that, that operates a junior A team knows that you have to wear a lot of hats. Uh, so I certainly did, you know, took on a lot of that. My wife was heavily involved as well because it, it's a big operation there. It's not your typical junior A team that you see in Ontario. And there are lots of season ticket holders and sponsors. So we had to take on a lot ourselves, but I can't say enough about the number of volunteers we have as well. I mean, that community in Pembroke is just unbelievable in terms of how they help one another. So many generations of people from Pembroke that are connected to the Lumber Kings and want to give back and want to volunteer and help. So we wouldn't have been able to survive at all without them. The celebration begins. The Pembroke Lumber Kings have beaten the odds, beaten the defending champions. They win their first national title. So in 2011, you guys win the national championship, the first ever. What was that experience like for, for you and the community? And when I look back on that, because, you know, I, I had spent so much time in Pembroke and the passion that I know that they have and the history there of so many great teams, great players, great coaches, but I'd never won a national championship. And anyone that you talk to that's been there that has followed the Lumber Kings, as so many of them have, the one thing they were missing was the national title. For us to be able to represent the community on the big stage like that, it, it's, it's a big deal for the junior A level. So it, it was really nice to be able to deliver that. And you were given a key to the city, am I correct? <laughs> I was. After moving on to Sault Ste. Marie and, and selling the team, I was invited back and you know, they raised a banner in the rafters, which is, of course, very special. It was a special time for my family and I. And, and then the mayor you know, presented me with a key to the city. So. It was a tremendous time in my life. I matured and grew a lot as a man, as a coach. You know, got married during that time. My wife gave birth to two boys, both born in Pembroke. So, you know, our connection to that community is lifelong. Hard to believe, really, when you think that it was 10 years since that national championship, and here you are, the coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Do you feel you'd be here without the success that you had in Pembroke? No chance. And that's why the connection is so strong. Part of why we went there, my wife and I, was to just set up roots and, and establish a life. And we were more than comfortable you know, living there for life. As it turns out, the success you know, that, that we had, which is, again is on the backs of the players and the volunteers and the families that, that uh, supported us, I was able to have success and, and move on from there to Sault Ste. Marie to the Marlies and now here. And that journey starts uh, in Pembroke and it certainly doesn't get past there without the support of so many people in that community.